Happy Sunday morning, November 29th, 2020. To God be the glory for yet another beautiful day. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, his name is worthy to be praised. The name above all other names. Amen. Our Father, Lord Jesus Christ in heaven, he is above all. And we are in a brand new book the last one of the Bible. I tell you, it usually takes mm, almost a year and a half to go through the entire Bible day and night meditating on his word. But I can remember, I guess it was August 2018, starting over again, Genesis, but it seemed like it just came so quickly. Well, we are there and we know that that is a book talking about John and the island of Patmos and I didn't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Isles of Patmos. He was in exile and he had a dream and he was in the spirit of the Lord. And Father God showed him so many visions and images. And it's for things to come. Mm -hmm. And remember, the book last night was Jude. And verse 21 talked about keeping ourselves in the love of God. Well, right before that, this is how we keep ourselves. We need to be built up. <laughs> we need to do it ourselves. Built up in the most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Ghost or praying in the Holy Spirit. Watch thereunto. Stay woke. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because... Things are happening out here and we do not want to be caught unaware and not ready. So keeping that theme of being kept and we remember the promise is in verse 24 of Jude. It says, now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his glory with exceeding joy. Yeah, isn't that isn't that a notion? Isn't that a thought that we can be presented, kept, secure, solid? Well, in the first chapter of Revelation, verse 3, we see this again, and it's a blessing. This is what we need to do in the meantime. Besides praying in the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit, besides building us up in our most holy faith, blessed is he or she that readeth, that not only reads, but it says, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. Now, it's the whole word of God is leading up to the coming, you know, the returning of the Lord and to join him in paradise. It says, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. But we see the words that, we are to keep those things which are written. And because today is November 29th, we would have gone to Psalms 119. And we know that it's what, 176 verses, I believe? Yeah, I, this morning, got through, yeah, half of them. Uh, and so far, I've counted at least... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen verses that uses the word keep or being kept. It says it really starts out with verse two, blessed are they that keep his testimonies and seek him with a whole heart. That's what we are to do right now. And then in verse four, keep thy precepts diligently. We are to do this, we are to meditate on thy precepts in verse 15 and have respect unto his ways in verse 17 keep thy word in verse 22 i have kept thy testimony again 33 keep it unto the end in 34 keep thy law in 44 keep thy law continually forever and ever mm -hmm. so that we could walk at liberty, we can have freedom out here. We don't have to be afraid what's going on and mm -mm, the tally and the statistics as far as the virus and violence and all that. Mm -mm. 
the Lord will keep us and we have liberty. And verse 55, kept thy law. 56, kept thy precepts. 57, keep thy words. 60, keep thy commandments. 63, keep thy precepts. 67, kept thy word. 69, it goes on and on. What are we to do? We are to make sure that our security is in the Lord. And when that has happened, we continually can just enjoy the continual presence of the Lord. We don't have to be fearful out here. Someone might say, how can, you know, the young people prepare, be prepared? In verse 9, how shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed there to according to thy word. Yeah, with your whole heart. Let's seek the Lord, whatever your age, elders, youngers, all of us. Let's be kept and let's look unto the Lord and hide it in our heart. Have a good one.